Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Dan, that dating anxiety guy. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over with you the three phases of confidence that every man goes through on their journey at being better with women. So I've recently just come back from Norwich. It was my friend's birthday whilst I was out there and we were actually reminiscing about our old school day game and cold approach days. And it really got me thinking about today's video, about that journey that we went on to actually get better with women. And you know what, I think it's a really good idea for you, uh, the viewer or the guy who is currently looking to work on his date in life to be aware at the phase that you're at. And the reason why I think this is good is because as you are learning to get confident or you're learning to be better with women, why not get really good at the phase that you're at first before moving on to the next one? And I'll certainly elaborate more on this at the end. But first of all, let's actually go through the uh, the phases. So the first phase that every man I think goes through when they are learning to, uh, to be better with women, especially if you are incredibly anxious, you're, uh, you're maybe lacking a lot of conversation or social skills, maybe you just haven't really interacted much with the opposite sex, and so you just really don't know what to do or what to say. Now, I can certainly speak from experience with this because when I first started in the dating industry about 15, 16 years ago, I was an incredibly shy guy and it was very difficult to talk to women because I just hadn't been around enough women or had the, uh, the confidence to even start a conversation, let alone even know what to say, which is what this first phase is. The first phase is about building social confidence just the ability to be able to go and talk to a stranger and just have a conversation. And the thing is, is that, you know, when guys, I think, get into the idea of doing something like daytime cold approaching, they're already thinking about the end game. They're already thinking about, I've got to get the phone number. I've got to get on a date. You know, that's what makes me a man. But the thing is, is that if you're not able to even start a conversation with someone, there really isn't any point in worrying about those later phases. You need to actually have that ability to talk to people first and then you can start considering those next steps. And this is why I do think it's important. So I remember for me, the first thing that I uh, had encouraged or brought upon me was just being literally pushed into interactions just to get used to being able to not only talk to strangers, but to become desensitized to that fear that I had of being around people that I didn't know. And as that fear kind of deteriorated, it became easier and easier to be able to talk to people and certainly to to be able to ask questions, which is then what leads into the second phase, which I would call creative confidence. And this is where usually guys can start being a bit more adventurous with their questions and they can start going a little bit deeper. So social confidence would be kind of your more surface level conversation stuff. You know, let, let's say, uh, how are you today? What are you up to? Um, oh, what did you study? What work do you do? Very surface level stuff that you would then get desensitized to. And imagine as well, again, you're in fact, I'm kind of jumping back and forth here, but imagine again, you've got a guy who has uh, never done any kind of cold approaching on the street or maybe in just any kind of environment. The first thing he needs to do is just get really comfortable with talking to people in an environment that he isn't yet comfortable with. But then with creative confidence, so the second phase that you would move into, this is where you can go a lot deeper, as I say. So this would be then maybe asking people like, well, why do you do that? Can you tell me more about that? Or voicing your own opinions on things. Being disagreeable on stuff can be a very attractive trait, but that isn't something that a lot of men are comfortable with doing, especially if they are just starting, you know, developing or building confidence. And 
when you kind of get to that phase, that's usually where then you start noticing that people react to you differently because you're now kind of going or diving a little bit further past that just friends kind of phase and going coming or or uh, bringing yourself into this phase that is showing that you know how to be uh, seductive and attractive to women. But that's where then the third phase comes in and that would be the seductive confidence. So when you've got a guy who is desensitized to being around women in any kind of environment, he's able to start a conversation and he can get himself to a level where he can certainly tease a girl, challenge a girl, he can voice his opinions, he can be kind of like different to her on the uh, the views that maybe she has as well as agreeing and uh, rewarding that by saying how much he really likes what she's got an interest in. Then that can lead into the level of seductive confidence. So this is where then a guy knows how to be more comfortable in his sexuality and he can play with his vocal tonality, his speed of his speech. He can get very used to holding eye contact with his uh, with the women that he's speaking to uh, and um, without suddenly mumbling, he can also get really good with his posture as well. He can stand really tall and have that conviction with what he's saying. And he can tend to be even more direct with how he's speaking as well. He can say, you know what? I really like you. Or, you know what? I really want your phone number. I'd love to take you out on a date. But that kind of confidence won't come until a guy is desensitized um, with being around attractive women. So this is what I was sort of saying at the beginning that, you know, there's no point worrying about the later stuff until you can do the lower levels first. Until you're actually comfortable being around women, there's no point really concerning yourself too much with trying to know how to flirt with women. And this is something that I've certainly seen over the years with dating coaches as they are actually teaching guys. And maybe they're not aware of the phases that they take guys through. But certainly I think for me, from like a third person perspective, as I'm always observing these guys and certainly jumping in to give any coaching that's necessary, I see that journey that they go on. And I think even on any client transformation video series that I've done with coaches over the years, you also see that as well because that's something that I'd like to try and portray. That you start off with the guy who's very shy and anxious and then as he's talking to women, you can see as time goes on or as the video series goes on, he gets then a little bit more confident or a little bit more comfortable. And then he starts being a little bit more daring with his questions or he starts asking more unique things as his brain is starting to process more ideas of things to actually talk about in a conversation. And then eventually when he is seeing or meeting women that uh, he is attracted to when he's talking to them, suddenly he's got and or he's gotten a lot more ballsy with the things that he's saying and in fact the women feel that confidence that he is portraying and they're attracted to him they like it and they're more than happy to give their phone number and go on a date so when you're going out and you are practicing talking to women whether you are a complete beginner and you are going out and you are now having to get desensitized to the idea of talking to strangers, that is absolutely okay. Get really good at doing that first. If you're someone who is certainly anxious about maybe trying to take those steps ahead, then it really is a good idea. Just focus on having conversations first. Get comfortable with that. But obviously, when you're out there, try not to miss opportunities. Do try and dabble in those steps or levels above that, you know. Try and have deeper conversations, you know. Try and be creative with the stuff that you're talking about, as well as practice your seductive skills. But don't fret if you're not quite at that stage yet. It is absolutely okay. You have to bear in mind that when men 
go to dating coaches or when they join any kind of dating community, they are at completely different levels. You're going to have a guy who has got a great social life and you're going to have a guy who doesn't have a social life. So that guy who's got a social life might be coming into the industry not at that first level. He might not need to build his social confidence because he's got it already, but he might be at that phase where he still needs to be desensitized to a point that he can be more creative and he can voice his opinion more or he can be challenging more in his conversations or he might need to go straight to that next level and be going to a dating coach to help him with his seductive skills. So, Guys will come into this at completely different levels and be aware that that is absolutely okay. And it's really good to be going out and practicing guy with guys at the current level that you're at and even the level above because you'll find that a little bit of that skill will rub off on you. And this is again why it's so great to go to dating coaches because they will help you with that skill as well. So just as a recap, level one or the first phase that most men will go through will be to build their social confidence, to get comfortable talking to strangers about just normal generic stuff and to be desensitized to those kinds of interactions. Then the next phase would be creative confidence where you can start you know, letting those juices flow and really getting into engaging conversations with people, especially going much deeper in the conversations, much more personal as well. And where you'll probably find you'll be sharing your uh, your views and opinions more, challenging the women that you're speaking to, and certainly get into that last phase where you can be building attraction and developing that seductive confidence. You know, learning how to slow your speak, sound more sexy even. And that is where you will really see those results with meeting women. So it's a journey that you'll go on, but pace yourself and go through those phases. And even if you weren't aware of those phases, now at least you know. And I'd love to actually know in the comments below what phase you're at and what you're doing about it currently to move yourself into the next phase. So thank you very much for watching. If you can, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you are struggling with going out to talk to women and you need someone to hold you accountable, do get in contact. I do offer a complimentary client assessment where I can find out if I'm the right person to help you with your dating confidence and take you on that journey to getting results and holding you accountable for your actions. But if you can like the video, subscribe, leave a comment below, check the description for my coaching. And until the next video, I've been that dating anxiety guy and I look forward to putting out another video for you soon.